Hello, my name is Arno from Vintage Visual. So today I'm uh, introducing you the Argo Film pro uh, Processor project. Uh, it started around two and a half years ago when I um, uh, started doing my master uh, thesis uh, in design studies. Um, I kind of took the user-centered approach uh, when starting to design it. So I went to different community centers, uh, did some uh, surveys, and and read a lot of uh, about uh, film developing. Um, the most noticeable uh, findings, uh, what I gathered from this research, were that um, um, developing film at home is really labor intensive. Uh, it kind of means that uh, you have to manually agitate uh, your film and you have to change the chemicals, you have to put uh, film on reels and, and, and it kind of makes, uh, you're kind of attached to this process. Um, second finding where that uh, uh, bit under uh, half of the films produced in, in the world are developed uh, at home with technology which was developed 40 years ago so there hasn't been much innovation uh, in there. Um, third one was that um, uh, people don't do as much uh, color film uh, at home as black and white film processing uh, partly because uh, color film means temperature control and um, uh, and the final finding uh, was that uh, uh, if you want to automate this process at home, uh, the first choice is a Jobo film uh, processor, which you know is kind of big and takes a lot of room, uh, and it's kind of a bit too pricey for most of us. Um, so the, the idea with Tao was to make a uh, tool for home users uh, which brings the functionality of, of prosumer uh, processors like uh, Filmomat or Jobo to, to the consumer uh, market uh, like uh, to the affordable level. Uh, so in order to do that uh, 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 something had to sacrifice so Argo don't have a like, pumping mechanism Instead, you have to pour in and pour out chemicals yourself. Uh, uh, but uh, coming to Argo, um, yeah, it is patterns on then compatible film processor. Um, so um, this is Argo, and Argo comes with uh, two uh, rear stands. Uh, this one is for universal tank. The other ones are uh, for all the other tanks. So this will attach it like that. Uh, so in order for uh, Argo to work properly, uh, batteries and funnel need some uh, modification. So here are uh, three 16 millimeter holes drilled into the funnel. This doesn't compromise the light tight, uh, tightness of this funnel, but it this allows chemicals to run through uh, to tank. So, Argo is attached like that. Uh, and put it to level. Uh, and then press it down here. So, now you can bore in chemicals from here. And through those holes, it gets to the neck. Uh, and uh, when this machine is it's done with the processing, you can pour out chemicals like that, like you normally use the batteries and tank. Uh, so this uh, processor returns the batteries and tank to uh, basically a rotary processor. Uh, it saves uh, uh, with that tank around 36% of chemicals. Uh, Argo is, uh, is equipped with an uh, electric motor it's a shaft which, which goes into uh, inside the tank and then it rotates the reels. So this is uh, uh, agitation is uh, is uh, automated. 
uh, it has also uh, uh, lithium ion batteries so you can do around five weight uh, developing cycles uh, without charging um, uh, so the most noticeable uh, innovation with Taro is that uh, in order to do uh, color, especially color film uh, at home, uh, the temperature uh, control is needed. Uh, in this device uh, we did it differently. Uh, we have this temperature sensor and uh, we have this uh, algorithm inside uh, in, in the device that uh, compensates uh, time according to the temperature changes. So for instance if you uh, with uh, color film, you have to put a uh, chemical inside which is in between 30 and 38 degrees, uh, so you don't have to be so precise anymore. Uh, also, it works with uh, black and white film, uh, and in future, we try to do it uh, on, uh, on E6 also. Um, our uh, future plans with, uh, with uh, Argo film processor. Uh, we have tested it uh, on already on uh, some test user users and uh, the, the feedback has uh, given us the confidence to start uh, selling it. Um, at first we were thinking to do a beta sales campaign. It's, uh, it's a campaign where we sell around 30 units. And uh, the idea of the beta campaign is that uh, we develop together with you uh, the, the device further uh, so, for instance, uh, if something doesn't work, we will send you the new uh, parts uh, or if it needs uh, some rebuild, you can send it back to us and, and uh, we will uh, rebuild it. Also, uh, uh, giving some money back guarantee. Uh, if you don't like it, uh, you can uh, send it back to us and, and uh, we will send you back the money. Uh, uh, but the overall idea is to make this product uh, together with you better uh, and uh, after that uh, do the crowdfunding campaign uh, for it uh, so we can uh, start using uh, injection molding uh, technology on that to, to bring this uh, price of this device even more down. So this is our plan with Tago at the moment. Uh, thank you for uh, listening and if you're interested in participating in, uh, in beta campaign, uh, uh, take uh, contact with us. Thank you. Bye.